West Africa, an exciting and diverse landmass that once provided half of the world's gold. Gold abundance continues today. Over the past five years, West Africa has had the fastest growth in gold production in the world. It is here, in Burkina Faso, in the midst of enormous potential, that Vancouver-based Rocks Gold Inc., a mineral exploration and development company, has chosen to build an impressive gold property portfolio. Rocks Gold acquired options to earn 60% interest in three highly prospective gold properties owned by Riverstone Resources, all strategically located near producing gold mines or gold projects in development. We took these properties on. The previous operator had done a fair amount of geochemical work and setup work, so we were able to walk right in and start drilling and got some very high results. So we're getting it to the point where a resource estimate can happen. Every time we want to see something, we get it. And it's drilling to a 500 meter depth on this ore chute from surface to 500 meters, which is extremely rare for the typical gold deposit. And it's going exceedingly well. Located 200 kilometers south of Ouagadougou, capital of Burkina Faso, Yaramoko is an exciting 250 square kilometer concession adjoining the property that hosts Samafo's Mana Gold Mine. With a forecast annual production of 500,000 ounces by 2015. There's a very large deposit just north of us here operated by a mid-tier mining company and they've got good production and good profitability but they have to process a lot of tons to get their gold. We get a grades that are exceeding one ounce per ton as opposed to the typical Burkina Faso gold deposit. I believe this is perhaps the first deposit of this kind that's been found in Burkina. So uh, we're quite enthusiastic. Main targets at Yaramoko are in the Bagasi Central Zone, where an aggressive exploration program led to an incredibly rich discovery, triggering a local gold rush. And what we have here is just a prospect that we are trying to develop and develop pour que éventuellement ça atteigne le stade des mines. Et ici, nous avons deux grands ensembles de roches qui sont les ensembles et les roches volcaniques et les roches granitiques. Si bon, ce qui se passe ici, c'est que c'est nous sommes dans un système de structure est-ouest qui est très minéralisé, comme ça se passe également dans la plupart des mines au Burkina Faso. Mais le caractère spécifique de, cette, de notre prospect est que nous sommes dans des fortes teneurs. C'est ça qui fait la différence. Bagasi South Zone has also produced some impressive results. To date, 4,500 meters of core has been drilled in 36 holes at Yaramoko, with an additional 5,000 meters in progress. We do have two other properties in the company. One of them is in the middle of the country called Bisa West, and it's near a gold deposits going into production in a little while. And we have another property called Seba, which is over on the eastern part of the country near Niger. It's been an incredible year. Uh, we started with a market cap of $3 million last October. Our current market cap is about $135 million. We had about a million and a half dollars in the bank last October. We spent six million dollars on exploration. We spent 33 million dollars acquiring the other 40% of the properties. So we've had a very busy, successful year. In July 2011, the company assumed operatorship of the programs on all properties and filed a NI 43101 compliant report on the geology of the Yaramoko, Bubulu and Solna group of exploration permits. Rocks Gold's objectives include the continuation of its aggressive exploration programs and the acquisition of new properties to increase its gold portfolio. For its return on investment, market cap growth, trading volume and analyst coverage, 
Roxgold was ranked as the top overall performing mining company in the Toronto Stock Exchange Venture 50 for 2012. Roxgold is also committed to working with local communities by sponsoring Burkina Faso's first community early childhood teacher training program in the village of Bagasi. Designed by a retired Montreal school teacher, the program has gained support from the government of Burkina Faso and UNICEF. In 2009, Burkina Faso's gold exports totaled 7.8 tons, or 42% of all exports. That figure increased to 53% in 2010, far surpassing cotton, the country's number one traditional export. It's easy to do business in Burkina Faso because you can get any professional employee here. It's easy also to bring equipment here. So last year, God bring to the government one billion dollars. And that's why now the government continues to invite the mining company to come here. Cotton used to be the first export product in Burkina Faso. Now it's the gold. Located in the heart of West Africa's accelerating gold production, Burkina Faso may soon become the fourth largest gold producer in Africa, aided in part by Roxgold's exciting exploration results.